Hi friends, this is Raj Shekhar, a great faculty for electrical machines. Today, in this video, we are going to discuss about parallel operation of three phase transformers. Parallel operation of three phase transformers. Generally, we discussed already what is the advantage of parallel operation. One is the reliability, nothing but continuity of operation. Load capacity increases, efficiency increases, like that many advantages are there. I conditions for parallel operation. Conditions, conditions for parallel operation of three phase transformers, conditions for parallel operation of three phase transformers. In generally, here we have many conditions in the first one. In the first one, the phase sequence should be same. Phase sequence should be same. Then only we can do the parallel operation. Otherwise, it is not possible. Phase sequence should be same. Nothing but, for example, the first transformer phase sequence is RYB. Then what is the next transformer phase sequence? They're giving you options like this. Option A, RYB. Option B, RBY. Option C, Option C. Option C, YRB. Option D, Option D, YBR. Option E, Option E, BRY. Option F, BYR. These are the options. Of course, they will give you only four options. So tell me, for example, the first phase sequence is RYB. Then what is the next phase sequence? Which are the following are the correct answers? Like that they will ask you a question. The two phase sequences should be same during the parallel operation. So here, first one is RYB, then next one also RYB. This is 100% correct answer. But they, they won't give you this option. Remaining four options will give you. In remaining this five, they will give you any four options. Then tell me which of the following is correct answer. For that, just see here, very simple to find it. For example, the first phase sequence is R, Y, B. Nothing but the clockwise direction, R, Y, B. This is actual phase sequence of our transformer. Then what is the phase sequence of next transformer? R, Y, B is the correct answer. R, Y, B, R also is the correct answer. R, B, R, Y also correct answer. Or check it here. For example, check this. This is the positive sequence or negative sequence. Once check it, R, B, Y. R, B, Y. Is this is the positive sequence or negative sequence? This is negative sequence. This is 100% wrong answer. See here, Y, R, B. See here, Y, R, B. Y, R, B. This is also wrong answer because this is a negative phase sequence. Next one, Y, B, R. See here, Y, B, R. Y, B, R. This is 100% correct answer because this is positive phase sequence only. And next one, B, R, Y. See here, B, R, Y. B, R, Y. This is also positive phase sequence. This is also 100% correct answer. And next one, B, Y, R. See here, B, Y, R. B, Y, R, this is 100% wrong answer because this is a negative phase sequence. Like that you can find which is positive phase sequence, which is negative phase sequence for a given options. So, like this, the phase sequence should be same. The phase sequence should be same. For example, this is the three phase transformers primary, or first transformer, and this is the next transformer. Like that, if we are the R, Y, B, and here, 
R Y B. Here the first transformer is delta delta. Here the first transformer is delta delta, which is connected. This is the this is the primary side and this is the secondary side. So here the transformer one is connected to R and other one is connected to Y and other one is connected to B and one is connected to R and other one is connected to B uh, Y and other one is connected to B like this phase sequence is R Y B then the next transformer which is connected in parallel this should be also which is connected to R Y B only which is connected to R Y B only it should be the phase sequence should be same the phase sequence should be same this is not correct right R Y B right so R Y B right so see here this is R and this is Y this is Y and this is should be connected to B like this the phase sequence should be same then only we can make it parallel like that you can find which is in same sequence or which is in negative sequence how we can find the which is positive sequence which is negative sequence once you see here this one and this one and this one are the negative sequences <clears throat> because see here out of three phases if any one phase is constant any one phase is constant if remaining two phases are reversed if remaining two phases are reversed then it acts as a negative phase sequence and see here in next one here the b phase is constant b phase is constant and remaining two phases are reversed nothing but it is a negative sequence and see here here y phase is constant y phase is constant remaining two phases are reversed reversed nothing but out of three phases if any one phase remains same and remaining two phases are interchanged then that phase sequence is called negative phase sequence <clears throat> for example if three phases are interchanged each other r y y b b r there is no same and r b y r b y if three phases are interchanged each other then again we can get the positive sequence then again we can get the positive sequence this is simply about the phase sequence so the first condition the phase sequences should be same this is the first condition of course voltage same voltage ratio same polarity same these all are belongs to single phase transformer we already discussed earlier yes or no yes right then then go for second condition the second condition is the phase phase displacement should be same phase displacement should be same nothing but generally for three phase system the phase displacement is 2 pi by 3 or simply 120 degrees the phase displacement between two transformers should be same then only we can make it in parallel phase sequence and phase displacement and the third one and the third one very important one third one phase group should be same phase group should be same phase group should be same and the and the phase displacement between two vectors should be zero phase displacement between the two vectors should be zero sir so what is the meaning of that what is phase group what is phase displacement zero how it will be let's see here let's see here generally we have four types of transformer connections delta delta star star delta star and star delta these are normally four types of connections we saw already in delta delta and star star we have only either zero degrees or 180 degrees phase displacement but in delta delta and in delta star and star delta we have zero plus or minus 30 degrees and 180 plus or minus 30 degrees Yes or no? Plus 30, minus 30, 150, and 210. We saw already like a 4-4 four, four configurations. 
these two belongs to phase group 1 these two belongs to phase group 2 these are called as 0 or 180 degree phase group these are called 0 or 180 degree phase group and these are called these are called plus or minus 30 degree phase group these are belongs to plus or minus 30 degree phase group 0 or 180 degree phase group and those are called plus or minus 30 degree phase group because 0 plus 30 plus 0 minus 30 180 plus 30 180 minus 30 that's why it is called plus or minus 30 phase group and this is 0 or 180 degree phase group I said you the phase group should be same nothing but we can make the parallel operation of delta delta with star star and star star with delta delta no problem and I will give you a table which is well preferable for parallel operation well preferable for parallel operation first one delta delta and delta delta yeah this is possible we can make it parallel operation because for this 0 degrees or 180 degrees and for this also 0 degrees or 180 degrees 0 minus 0 0 or 180 minus 180 0 no problem and delta delta star star this is also possible because in delta delta 0 degrees only in star star 0 degrees only then the phase displacement is 0 degrees then the phase displacement is 0 degrees of course it may be 180 degrees minus 180 degrees then 0 degrees it may be 180 degrees minus 180 degrees again it is 0 degrees this is possible and and star star with delta delta also possible delta delta with star star possible nothing but star star with delta delta also possible and next star star with star star also possible because 0 degrees minus 0 degrees is equal to 0 degrees or 180 degrees minus 180 degrees is equal to 0 degrees the phase displacement should be 0 these three configurations are possible and next one and next one next one the delta star with delta star and next one star delta with star delta also possible delta star with delta star and star delta with star delta also possible because if this is either plus or minus 30 degrees and this is also plus or minus 30 degrees if it is uh, for example for delta star take the plus 30 for delta star take the plus 30 and for delta star take the plus 30 plus 30 minus plus 30 then 0 degrees or minus 30 minus minus 30 what is that minus 30 degrees minus of minus 30 degrees again the displacement is 0 degrees then it is possible as you realize here also 30 minus 30 degrees is equal to 0 or minus 30 minus of minus 30 is equal to 0 so these five conditions are possible for parallel operation delta delta with delta 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 with star 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 with star 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 with delta delta and delta 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 star with delta star star delta with star delta are possible but in some textbooks they will give you in some textbooks they will give you they will give you the delta star and star delta also possible but this is not correct answer but this is not correct answer the delta star and star delta is not possible actually because for example if you take delta star i say plus 30 degrees then the star delta minus 30 degrees plus 30 minus of minus 30 is equals to 60 degrees the phase displacement not zero this is not possible as well as the star delta star delta with delta star star delta with delta star this is also not possible because this is also not possible because if star delta is taken as a minus 30 degrees minus of 
delta star taken as a 30 degrees, then the answer is minus 60 degrees, which is not equals to zero. So these two conditions, fifth, the sixth one and seventh one, actually not possible. Fifth one, up to fifth conditions, okay. The sixth and seventh one are not possible. Don't go for that. These are the different cases at which we can make the parallel operation. But here the answer should be the same phase group. Those belongs to same phase group. Then only we can make the parallel operation. These are the three perfect conditions for parallel operation of three phase transformers. Of course, in single phase transformers, we calculated and we saw one is the polarity, another one is the voltage ratio, another one is the terminal voltage and X by R ratio and per unit impedances are same. From that, I calculated there, from that, I calculated there the load shared by transformer A is equals to total KVA multiplied with ZB by ZA plus ZB, this is also applicable for three phase transformers. And the load shared by transformer B is equals to total KVA ZA by ZA plus ZB. This is calculated already, we saw already. And this is also, that is the KVA rating is inversely proportional to impedance our KVA rating is directly proportional to per unit impedance. These conditions we already saw in single phase transformer parallel operation only. This is same for the condition for parallel operation of three phase transformers also. But especially the three conditions are very important. Phase sequence, phase displacement and the phase group. These are very important. The conditions for parallel operation of three phase transformers. Are you okay? Thank you.